Uh, in the previous two videos, I showed you how to create a very basic middle pipeline. So in the first one, we saw how you can just have a script. And in the second video, I showed you how you can have two jobs and each job uh, just prints some text. Uh, in this video, what I will do is I will take a uh, step ahead and I will create a Visual Studio project. I will cre create a Git repository and then um, and I will create a pipeline which listens to that repository. So I will create a build pipeline first and that gives you a feeling of much more uh, real time scenario. Um, and uh, so let's start now. So what, basically what I'm doing first is I'm creating a repository git repository in the Azure repos. I call it second app project repo. Currently it's empty and it also gives you uh, the remote origin link. So this is the remote repository you are in. So I will copy that. And now what I will do is in my Visual Studio, Studio community, I'll create a ASP.NET Core Web App project. I will name it uh, test app and I will just use .NET 6.0. Uh, I will leave the rest default. And now the test application is created. I will create a Git repository. So basically the repository is already created. Um, I will authenticate uh, with my GitHub credentials. And in the existing remote, I will uh, paste in the remote URL, whatever we copied earlier. So this is the remote URL of the Git repository we created earlier. So now it is pushing the changes to the remote repository. Now, uh, if you go to your Azure repos, you can see that uh, the second app project repo is there and it has files in it as well, the ones which we uh, pushed. Now I'll create a new pipeline and I will um, point to the Git repository which we just created. So I will select, select second app project repo here. And uh, the pipeline is very smart enough because it realizes that our source code, the Git repository has more to do with .NET. So it gives relevant to .NET uh, itself for the list. So I will select ASP.NET Core here, .NET Framework, the second one here. And it generates a YAML file. Again, very relevant to the .NET uh, world. And it gives a VM image of Windows latest. That is the agent. Uh, last time we saw Ubuntu one. So in here, because we are dealing with more into .NET world, it gives us Windows latest. There are tasks like NuGet tool installer for for you know installing the packages on the VM or the agent. You, uh, you I mean, so this is the task in here. And then there are a few more tasks like NuGet command, and there is a task of build and test. I will remove the test one for now because I am not going to write unit tests uh, in this particular demo. But you can add tasks. So for instance, if you want a task related to Java, for instance, right, may not be there by default, but you can always go to this task and search for Java and you will get all the relevant uh, Java related uh, tasks. So that is how you search and add tasks to the YAML file. I will save this YAML file and I will commit it to the master branch. So now it's committed uh, in our repos. So this is the topmost one.NET code test application pipeline. Now I'm back to my pipelines and you can see that the second one exists, second app project repo, that is the pipeline. What I will do is I will run that pipeline manually. And uh, it is, uh, Again, listing on the master branch, and if you want, you can give some options in here, but I will just run it. And you can see it has uh, come across a build error. So it is very um, clear on what the error is because it says the Windows latest pipeline will use Windows 22 soon. So initially it gives a warning here, sorry. So it's giving a warning here, but when you actually get into the job, you will see there is this warning shown here too. But when it tries to execute, it gives an error. And error is related to .NET SDK. So on the left, you can see it's failed to, and if you can, uh, the job has failed to, and if you come down to this error section on the left, it very clearly says that NuGet command failed at so-and-so target framework, something to do with the .NET SDK. 
So the issue here is that our source code, the original source code was using .NET 6, but the VM image is Windows latest. There is another image which the most recent one is Windows 22 and that supports .NET 6 apparently. And this is the uh, VM image I'm talking about, Windows 22. So this is the latest one. So I thought I'm just showing you how you can get to see um, what is the latest image. So I just searched uh, VM image Windows latest and it takes me to Microsoft hosted agents in here. And you can see this is the one which is latest currently. So that is how um, I got to know what the current or the latest uh, Windows image. So by the way, I just edited my pipelines and gave the latest image. And again, uh, I am checking in and running on the new pipeline and this time as you can see the job is successful it builds our visual studio uh, sorry our uh, project code and you can see all the tasks inside the job are successful and the job in itself is successful as well and here you can see the latest change like you know what all changes i made set up ci with azure pipelines is the latest one which i made so if I uh, go back to the pipelines, you can see our pipeline second app project repo and it has man been manually triggered. So it shows that here because I clicked and manually executed that pipeline. Now I will try to mimic a real time scenario uh, wherein a developer tries to commit the code in the repository and uh, ideally our build pipeline should trigger automatically. So that's the idea behind it. So what I will do is in the repos directly in the files in program cm, in program.cs, I will add a just text small comment testing and um, I'll add a couple of comments updated program cs and check in into master. Now if you go to the pipelines, you can see that um, it has turned blue and uh, it has been triggered. And here you can see it's not manually triggered, but individual CA. So if you look at the previous one, it said manually triggered right and now in this case it says individual ci so basically our pipeline has been triggered automatically because we made a check in progress program.cs file and that triggered the pipeline now you can see that our job has run successfully and the job is success it ran in 31 seconds and like i said it has been triggered by our pipeline so uh, if you go to the view changes, you can see the changes we've made. So uh, that's it for uh, this video, guys.